fellas. Did I... you know that uh, my Did favorite you... things are uh, dirt? My the favorite things are Street Fighter V. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's the podcast. It's the podcast. Um, very, very well over the podcast. Freddy podcast. Okay. First things first, Steven Universe. Rock was being just married. That's all we need to know about the ship, so. So, yeah, the recent bomb was not a bomb, and it was actually pretty good. Like, each episode had <laughs> me invested. You. It wasn't a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. He actually laughed over my jokes, guys. Check that out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you're not Alex. So yeah, uh, it was. It didn't suck. It, it didn't suck. This is the first time why I liked every single episode since like what season three? Yep. Man. Uh, when, when was that? 2015. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. It, I don't care. I don't. I'm not editing out spoilers, so I guess like skip. To the, um, I'm not gonna put no timestamps, so you just get to skip ahead until we stop talking about spoilers. But, uh, um, so do we start with the first episode, or? Uh, no, we need like some back, so it's like, uh, Rose's Pink Diamond. Everyone found out. Yes, we know this. So, uh, Garnet broke up into two small rock lesbians, and like, uh, then they started fighting. So, like, Ruby. Maybe masculine. I should explain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's okay, so Ruby and like Sapphire break up, so they have to like you know. They thought that since Rose was faking who she was, that they shouldn't be who they are or something like that. You know, so some Tumblr type of stuff. My life is a lie. Pretty much, yeah. So they uh, do some talking to each other. You know, Steve Vitter and Amethyst talks about how he needs to learn how to defend himself and make his own decisions. Yep. But Steve was like, hey, but I care about that. But then Amethyst was like, you should care about yourself too. Yeah, that was like and the then weak- she turns into a helicopter and, and turns like to like emotional breakdown. That was like the weakest the episode of the bunch. Then she plays saying. GameCube for like half the episode, I think. Yeah, she does. And they're really not even trying to be slick with it. <laughs> Although, why, why are two of the analog sticks look the same? Okay, so then uh, after they console Sapphire, they go to try to find Ruby. Get out of my head, Steven. <laughs> they, they go to try to find Ruby, which takes a whole episode to find her. And when they find her by the third episode, um, she, she's already like over it. She's talked to Greg. She knows what's up. But she realizes... And apparently she has an obsession with cowboy comics. <laughs> yeah. So like, they give her like a day to herself where she doesn't have to worry about her significant other. But she's still thinking about them. So, like, they go back, and, like, uh, she proposes to her. Which is, like... And if you're in the UK, it got censored. <laughs> oh, yeah, if, if you're in the UK, it got censored. Rip them. Uh, then by the fourth one, uh, they're kind of planning the wedding, but, like, all their friends are dead. Take me to the edge, all my friends are dead. And, that was but, like, the, so only, <laughs> the, whole, the only friend of theirs that's still alive is, uh, Bismuth. From like a previous episode, which is like, yeah. So they explain everything to Bismuth. Bismuth feels like like crap for being like a douche the whole time, and then whatever. And like the, the hey, like, he sounds like a black girl. Yeah. <laughs> also, Paradox first appearance in, this, in, the, in, the, in the bomb. She's the best character. Uh, and then uh, Paradox is just invaders and with a Dorito head. And then the last one is the actual wedding, but it's freaking crashed by the diamonds, who get freaking popped by lapis. And then Steven, Steven gets knocked the, knocked the heck out. And Steven freaking dies. Yeah, he freaking dies, dude. Steven dies in the end of the episode. Yeah, he's dead. No, but he manages to, uh, to show the diamonds that he's actually the, the hidden, dead, thought to be dead pink diamond, but it's actually him. <laughs> and that's where we left off at. Now we gotta wait till freaking September till the next episode. So yeah. up, this series is probably over soon. It will. Uh, Unless they get a, another villain popped right out of the butt cheek. It's gonna be White Diamond. Let's get to the next villain. White Diamond. Yep. That's racist, I'm kidding. <laughs> the speed racist. So what I think is gonna happen is like, they thought they eradicated every single gem with one big blast. 
but missing the power of Pink Diamond, they ended up only corrupting them. That's what leads to the monsters from season one. So yeah. Uh, anyway. Not a single episode that wasn't terrible. I liked every single one. You can talk about the Amethyst one, but my character developing. And that's oh. exactly what it was. That was like the weakest one though, out of all of them. Because like, she, ha she had enough character development, I think. She, she, no, we know, she we didn't. Know, we know she hates herself. That's what she always changes, because she hates herself or something like that. But then she Stout. learns to love herself. This is Amethyst, not Lapis. You know, I'm like, quiet here because I haven't watched that episode of this show in about two years. Yeah. Don't uh, that be one of us. I mean, I don't care about season two. <laughs> yeah, don't so. be one of us. It was Stay like up. it was like guys, we need a filler episode. He's like, but we need to incorporate some story into it. He's like, ah, we'll put like three seconds of it at the end. Man, that was not a filler episode. They're just looking around random places until they like figure it out that she's on that hill. No, they were having conversations about the problem with Rose Quartz because um, this was trying to talk out to Steven about how it's okay and that you're a separate being and that you shouldn't carry your mother's arms problems and carry it on to you. His mom is dark, is it? Because he is his mom. Pretty much. My, my mother wife... is inside my tummy. <laughs> That's why my wife is my arm. Bionic Commando 2009. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> uh, anyway, um. So, your boy Greg, the Chad Master. The freaking. Oh, the freaking Lady Master, dude. Freaking Greg. <laughs> tries to pull some moves on the diamonds. Because, you know, he, he pulled one of them. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to complete Funny. the set. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to have illegitimate kids with with intergalactic beings, my guy. I like uh, the last season about everybody wanted to hate Rose Quartz, but you're stupid. Because if they're waiting for Rose Quartz, the gems probably will all uh, go apocalyptic on Earth. Yeah. The first episode was pretty nice, Hello, though. It showed how, like, Rose Quartz first, or how, like, Pink Diamond first became Rose Quartz. Oh, yeah, that was cute. Yeah. And we yeah. never seen our Rose Quartz and uh, Pearl look together. Yeah. But <laughs> it's funny how that design was leaked. Both of those. Oh, designs. it was? Yeah. Oof. I didn't see it. <laughs> they were officially leaked, too. Because they were, uh, they put out, like, a new series of, like, uh, figures for Steven Universe. And that design of Rose Quartz dresses the soldier was leaked. Well, I guess. Yeah. Just when I thought CN didn't leak anything. <laughs> CN leaked everything. Dude, they leaked that one image of where it shows the, uh, them holding Steven, the diamonds. Oh yeah, I remember that. Didn't they have like a small like interview commercial? Yeah, something like that. And did yeah. <laughs> well, anyway. And then they had, then they re-uploaded the video and had to edit that scene out. Oh yeah, so anyway, uh, Lapis and Paradise have been died, but, but I think this means they're finally going to get redesigns and we're finally going to get a new opening. Mm -hmm. Just saying. So yeah. What is... Well, uh... Y'all can talk about all you want. Yeah, I'm not going to say I don't hate it, but uh... I'm going to say that my least... Well, I like you. Look, I I talk a lot of trash about Lapis, but she actually helped. It was very brief, but she actually helped. Yeah. I think they're gonna go all Lilo and Stitch and rebuild the house so everyone can live together now. So there won't be any <laughs> not including any characters. That's exclusively Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> Yeah, because the yeah. aliens come, destroy the house, and then the aliens oh. come back and help you build the house. <laughs> You're not lying. I'm not. <laughs> no, that means like Lapis and Paradox's house is destroyed, and Bismuth's gonna become a, a recurring character, hopefully, unless she stays in her own place. But I don't know. Uh, also, no more beach city no. episodes, uh, unless you bring it back next year. Hmm. Also, Garner looks really cute in the wedding dress. All right. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Mega Man. Oh, <laughs> I like how the postman, uh, the actor guy, <laughs> he's just all sad in the corner. <laughs> oh yeah, because he had like a crush on Garnet the whole time, but like he kind of had to show up to her wedding. Oh man. 
Man. I'm attracted to two people at the same time. <laughs> Man, talk about a dilemma, my dude. I know. Oof. But both off. So, uh. I will rate that a 8.5 out of 10. Yeah, but the 8 will look like a 7, and you know, sometimes it'll look like a 9. Because, you know, see the universe staying consistent. No, oh, you think you're funny, huh? Wait, 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 really. this ain't gonna look like a number 1, because what the fuck is, you know, consistency. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Yeah, yeah, so that was that you. Anything oh, else? Oh, Anything else uh, you guys want to talk about that we have? Before I have the security to send you guys out? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what's coming up? Hearts 3. Hey, we knew that already, nerd. Bayonetta proves the Smash Bros. was rigged. I don't believe oh, that one bit. That's a lie. I don't that believe that. Lie. Nintendo would not manipulate people like that. Yeah, I, I don't believe that. Be freaking Waluigi haters. Playing propaganda now. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Which is why they're blocked from Sakurai. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, he let Big Jetta in, but not Waluigi. He has like the perfect moveset. He's super original. I like to think that Kamiya and Sakurai would like have a lunch together. And Kamiya was like wondering what was going on with his life so far. And he said something about Waluigi's posters. And he took his phone and started blocking people. <laughs> yeah, I guarantee you that happened. Yes, I mean, Kamiya and... Aren't, they two, aren't those two friends anyway? I don't think so, but I think they probably hang out. I don't think Kamiya is friends with anybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told that for the insects at 2010 trillionth time, <laughs> you're getting blocked if you're poor. <laughs> you just got out of his way to block people that don't speak Japanese. It's amazing. He's been saying that for a month now. And he won't stop saying it. <laughs> Man, what you gotta do is block him first. <laughs> All you gotta do is block him first. He's gonna be like, I won, but at what cost? <laughs> he doesn't even tweet anything good anyway. He just reads I mean, people talking big about it. Yeah. Despite that some of his tweets are English, I don't know why he's blocking us. <laughs> You retweeted a bunch of English speaking stuff. I don't know. I can't tell you I. There it makes enough. Maybe a girl rejected him. Ooh, probably. <laughs> you like stupid American <laughs> girls, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a banana. I'm gonna get a I have a full new costume. I don't care. <laughs> She's the only one I care about. <laughs> yeah, so what did he even say? So was it like a two week debut or something? I don't get it. How, how can you say that Bayonetta was rigged? I have no idea. There was a uh, two weeks after the ballot was announced, they added the ballot into the ballot was deep into the game's or? code. They had uh, mentions of Bayonetta being a DLC character, along with Roy, Ryu, and Cloud. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, he miscalculated. I, I don't buy that, honestly. This was the time. Corrin was added in 1.0.8. But I mean, like, there's stuff that shows it. It shows Bayonetta's data in April of 2015 in the game. No, he must have miscalculated in E3. There's no way they were put a character that I wasn't even voting yet. Because yeah. they still had other people to think about. Or may maybe, uh... Maybe they rigged it for this one, and then they leave the actual... It's that yeah. Remember Sakurai, even in the DLC, you already had the idea for the game. Nah, because, uh... They said at their own mouth that she was the third most popular character to be voted in America, which I believe that because a lot of people wanted her in. He was, she was the only popular in England, which is the same as saying uh, we're gonna add... Bounder from the Amazing British Commodore 64 game because he's popular in Britain. <laughs> what if everyone did have I mean, no the only person that would be happy with that would probably be Ashton <laughs> Larry Jr. Well, I remember a lot of people went to Bayonetta and that's what happened. I mean, there are better choices. I hate Bayonetta and Smash related concepts, but yeah, I wouldn't say he's rigged. Wouldn't, what if he like, actually went through and like looked at all the characters like, these are all trash, dude. Alright? 
But then he, he found a couple that were like, okay, I'll ask these dudes. And they're like, either no, or like, who the heck is Shovel Knight? Like, who the heck is Shantae? Uh, no, no. You know? What's a five nine? No to what? Shovel Knight. I will actually be upset. What's a five nine out of Freddy? <laughs> What's a five nine out of Freddy? <laughs> the only one he's gonna know is Undertale, and even then, the Undertale was. Yeah, it was still relatively new back then. My daughter likes skeletons. <laughs> oh god. Guys, I realize since Sakurai likes the game, the character will be in Smash. What, right. <gasps> what if this is like a trailer, and this is all like just a Smash logo and people are fighting, and then... Like, uh, uh. <laughs> Never ask me for anything again. <laughs> <laughs> That's all here. <laughs> Sand shows up. Oh, man. Sans shows up and says, Thank you, Bogey. Very cool. So that's gonna be like, what, the third character you that was a meme that's in Smash now? Pretty much. Well, what meme characters are in Smash anyway? Ridley. <laughs> Big Lee. I, I would God, like... That was, a, that was a Nintendo in meme. I would like if they do an indie direct and like Sakurai shows up at the end. He's like, we really love our indie characters so here. So we're gonna put a huge focus on them in this upcoming Smash Generation. He's like, here we have a list of trophies based on our favorite indie game characters, as well as a couple of assist trophies. He said, that's about it. Thank you, everyone. And it ends with the trailer for uh, an indie character. Shovel Knight. And then it's going to be... Shovel Knight. And then Shovel Knight. There's a, no. so we have one more announcement regarding indie characters. It, it's going to be Minecraft Shovel Steve Wilkos. That's not indie. Steve I mean, that would probably make Relax Alex and... Um, what is in Tandrix happening, but... M Minecraft Steve Wilkos. <laughs> I, I got so from it, um, Relax Alex after that then he said Smash 4 was bad. Well, like, what if he they didn't felt like... Not... He didn't say it was bad. He's a melee baby. I can live with him. He didn't say it was bad, he just said it wasn't his personal case. Well, what if, like, Sakurai thought about, He's like... He's a melee baby. Melee is unironically one of the most overhyped games in any series. Yeah, he didn't say it. It just he just wasn't his favorite, and he had good and uh, good complaints too. Hey, what if like Sakurai was like, looking at like looking for trophies to put in the game? Freaking and he, stop dying! If he looked at he looked at Doki oh Doki Literature Club, he looked at Doki Doki Literature Club. He's like, this seems pretty popular. I could put a trophy of this in the game. <laughs> and he looks yeah. up who made it. <laughs> it's the freaking PM guys. He's like, oh, these guys. <laughs> 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 Wait, they made DDLC? Yeah, for real. Uh, one, one of them did. They who made what? They made the, who? the who? One of the guys who made uh, oh. Project M who uh, worked he on. He did Doki Doki. The rest That's of them worked amazing. on Rivals of Aether. The rest of them worked on Rivals of Aether. Why and I think the Hollow Knight. can get in Smash Brothers. I mean, he already has a moveset because I think he's from a one to one Smash clone. Yeah. Oh, wait, you know what came out today? I think it came out today. Hold on. One second. Keep talking, guys. Keep talking to come out today. You said it 10th? Was it? No, Andy Pogger comes out in two days. Oh, two days. Oh, yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm going to drop the joint. I'm going to get the joint when it drops up. Yeah, same. Just put the price up so I can buy it already. I'm not going to pirate any Pogo. No, I said so I can buy it already. They just have. I have no pre order thing up. Why would I pirate Indie Bogo? I, well, I didn't even say no, anything I mean, thing about pirating. These people. I'm not gonna say, oh, I played because I pirated it. They're gonna kill me and they're gonna report me to the police. No, I'm saying put the price up so I can pre order it already. There's two days. Yeah, but uh, I don't we're know gonna the price. Link. What? Everyone I'm should have be able money to run that game. And they, also, um, they said they're gonna they're pitching a Switch version after the Steam release to Nintendo. Oh, because everything's getting ported to Switch. How come it isn't on Switch, nope, guys? This, game pop out. this game's going to have its best audience on Switch. That's the thing. Man. Where, are those new, where are those new Switch games, Nintendo, huh? Not announced. I like how like, all the developers like, were like, we're not, planning, not announced. We're like, we're not planning any ports for the Switch. But now that they see it's popular, it's like, Oh yeah, we got ports for the Switch, don't worry, guys. <laughs> Like, how come you weren't supporting it when it was- Y'all just a bunch of fakers, that's what you are. <laughs> oh no! 
it, it, it disconnected. Not really, because Project M was being worked on when Legacy came out. Hey, what is Legacy? Legacy is just Project M. Legacy? No, Legacy, Legacy is its own separate it's entity. A, it's a complete separate team that just took PM and then expanded on it. But yeah. Quite a lot. PM is so good that it still has a community to this day. PM is the one that's the only brawl game that gets played in tournaments. And Nintendo goes to the tournaments and like, Reggie's like, Sorry, that's all the time I have. I gotta get back to DMNC. <laughs> and then he just slaps every single Project M player. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh... Sakurai hates Project M, doesn't he? Oh yeah, no, I'm sure he does baby. Oh well, yeah, because I would understand why he doesn't like it because they basically took a game that he took like five years to make and then making a play like his predecessor. And then they're saying, oh, we could do a better job. Like, what if you drew like a better job than you, Sakurai? Screw, Sakurai, screw you for not making it super deadly tingly. Sakurai said, I don't give a shit about the competitive scene or audience. I'm just making it fun. Genesis, what would you do if you like drew like a really bare bone stick, uh, stick figure? Really fast? But then, like, for your next drawing, you drew, like, a really detailed, really good image, but you took your time with it. But then, like, somebody grabbed it, erased it, and then put the stick figure over it again. That's just the Project M for the <laughs> Yeah, got him. Oh, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where you were going. <laughs> Has there been a Subspace Emissary in Project M? Yeah, yeah it it's is. in there. It's the same exact thing, but you just... The move They're sets. using their mechanics now. Yeah. Can you can you encounter some of like, the characters in Project M? For, for a fan, yeah, you can. For a fan project, it's like really well made, but like, yeah. And like every time when you play with a Project M character, it just uh, turns into Mario's trophy, like if you're playing it in classic mode. <laughs> it turns into Mario's trophy? Yeah, so if I'm playing as Roy, and I beat the Master Hand, his trophy will be Mario. Oh yeah, you can't get their trophies, can you? So, something that really annoyed me is I would uh, I'd be at a friend's house and we'd try to play tourney mode, and it would uh, it wouldn't work. It would just take me. It would just take us to rotation. Rotation. Uh, that, was, that was bad. Yeah, PM is not bad, but I, I understand why Sakurai would that. not like it. But like, if you looked at Ultimate Racer, there's like a lot of mechanics that been in Million Project Game that's in Ultimate now. So, like, he's clearly involved. Yeah. Don't ask for anything again. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> That's why I said, uh, guys, like, add fighter money. You know, not like fighter money, but, like, coins give uh, them more money. purpose. Yeah. Give coins more purpose. Because yeah, once you buy all the... Characters for coins. Yeah, once you buy all the coins in the shop, like, you have no use for coins. Ever. You're buying coins, dude? No, if you buy all the trophies in the shop. I mean, if you count trophy hoard as uh, looting, then yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, us... trophy hoard sucks. Don't bring that back either. You give us like a loot box thing for trophies. So like, we can always get doubles. And like, it, it'll Does be hard for us to get all of them. Does anyone remember trophy shooter from Brawl? That was fun, that. dude. I spent like freaking hours playing that, dude. Man, it was such an easy way to go for trophies. Heck yeah, dude. Also, good thing there's no more freaking custom moves because it was sucked. Oh, they aren't coming back? Nope. Really? Yeah, they're not. Wonder why. Because they were freaking <coughs> RNG. hassle to get. <laughs> RNG. Because they were freaking hassle to get, and like it was impossible to get them for like every single character. And it was randomly generated? Yeah. <laughs> freaking suck, dude. I hope... Well, so they're gone all together? I hope that we don't have to unlock characters in order of how they That's get hilarious. to match. That's gonna make me sad. Oh yeah, it better be randomized who you, who you unlock. It's I think not it's going gonna to be in order. It's not going to be randomized. He said it himself, every character is gonna be based off appearance. Ah oh, man, it's gonna be boring though, because I know who I get in order. Like, what if I'm playing and I freaking unlock Mewtwo randomly? That'd be freaking sick, you know? What if I'm randomly playing and then I get freaking Inkling, you know? What if I'm randomly playing and I get Sheik? You know, that'd be fun. That'd be Dude, fun this game is going to take forever to unlock even the characters I want to play. If there's like a screen... Yeah, I already asked you. I want to get around to the wall characters to get the characters I actually like. Yeah, I don't it, think the, uh... It, it has to be options would be really bad, because I remember Smash felt like a pretty outlandish stuff to unlock characters. Like, what was it, Cool, bro? Like, yeah. Cool Smash? 
No, there was none for Cruel Smash. It was just a 100 man melee. No, there was a Cruel Smash. You had to, like, uh, kill five guys. Oh, yeah, to, to unlock, unlock the Duck Hot Dog. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then, uh, the good thing we have gaming plan because I'm not doing that normally. <laughs> you could never send the Kirby method. Yeah, all you had to do was Kirby and just suck him up to the uh, bottomless pit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they don't have a recovery for some reason. No. Uh, uh, if, if you do unlock them all in order, that'd be stupid. Because, like, you have to, like, unlock everyone to unlock the new characters. Like, wouldn't you want to play the you new characters? You know how this could be fixed? You know how this could be fixed? Oh. Buying the characters in adventure mode. Ooh. Well, I mean, Ooh. the biggest trailer is only CG only being like five seconds. Maybe there is a, something Ooh. coming in that way. Please. Please. It Did doesn't have. Me? It doesn't have to be as long as Brawl, but please have it back. Add, add NPCs too, please. That'd be sick. But like good ones. You know, like. If Octolings can be playable, they can be NPCs. Hmm. You mean like well, background characters? Playable, he can be an NPC. No, like NPC. He already is. He's a fish trophy. Like <laughs> <laughs> NPC enemies. <laughs> you know, have like uh, the the angels from Bayonetta. You know, uh, like Waddle Dees, Waddle Doos. You know. Waddle Anybody? this, Waddle that. Yeah. There's a guy inside Ash's head. <laughs> <laughs> what are them NPCs would be cool? Oh yes, let me get some like freaking Google NPCs. Uh, let me get a writable chocobo. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying it's like they'll go all that I only doubt it. I mean I feel like there's an adventure mode because I said, oh I'm not gonna care it's gonna be streamlined. But there has to be an adventure mode. That's true. Oh. Let it be like Melee's adventure mode, but longer. Not be good. Let me just get Brawl's adventure mode, but more originality and less Great Maze. Well, Great Maze was only the last part of the game. No way, that sucks too, but. It was the yeah. longest part of the game, so. Uh, yeah, how, about we just get, like, how about we just get like a big Metroid map where we just gotta run through all our characters? So Smash. Metroid them. is bad. No, just like a big, like, level, like. Just a big exploration fest. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Wait, then that's just the Great Maze! Yeah, that's exactly. just the Great Maze. I'm sticking to uh, the, that's kind of what Smash Man is, but not as long. Yeah, but Great Maze, but like with like actual like set pieces from games. But wouldn't that just be Melee's death? Yeah, but it's like not... You don't have to play through it 50 times. You can just like go through a safe <laughs> spot, exit, and then play some regular Smash, or like, you know, like don't play the game for a couple days and then come back and then do it again. Just, yeah, just basically yeah. Great Maze, dude. That, that'll be fun. I don't know. There has to be some type of adventure mode. Right? They'll, they'll make it work. I'll come back. Yeah. Easy or that, or we protest of Smash Runners back. <laughs> now, like I said, guys, how will we get, like, a huge map? We spawn in a hundred random characters, uh, other, other players, and then we go and smash each other. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like the most original thing yet. Wait, so Smash Bros. Battle Royale. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, that's, that was the joke. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds terrible, but I bet it'd be so fun. <laughs> okay, so, uh, is that where we are up about Smash? We just said it wasn't even a topic, really. What? I don't want to wait so long to unlock my favorite characters. Yeah. Like, Pichu better be on, like, the base roster. Like, come on, guys. He said he'll be constantly unlocking new characters, so that bet... It better might... It might just be like Mario Kart, where you just play a certain number of matches, and you like, the, you go unlock a character every, like, 50 or so... 10 or so games. That's how it was in, uh, Smash 4. To unlock Luke, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're gonna best. start with the original 12 from the first game, and then you unlock everyone else. I think yeah, that's a shame because I don't like any. I only like one character of the entirety of the original trail, and that's Mario. I mean, Pikachu is really. What about Captain Falcon? Everyone likes Captain Falcon. Oh wait, yeah, Captain Falcon's good. Ness is fun. Yeah. I like Captain Falcon. Like okay, 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 okay. You know what makes sense? Every five, uh, every ten classic modes on easy mode get you a character. Every five, uh, classic mode on normal get you a new character every three on hard mode get you a new character 
and every single one in classic mode, if you're on like very hard, gets you a guaranteed character. Don't think of something. I don't think it'll be as long as people are panicking. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we just have to wait. I don't how think we should. How about we just get the characters in loot boxes with coins? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, not with coins. There's a smash box, and you gotta smash pay bucks. actual smash. money to get those now. Smash box. No, I mean, they, they come in three options. Could work if you can. If the duplicates weren't a thing, that's fine. No, but I never want to pay for actual money in that's Smash. That's what I'm saying. Game. No, that's what I'm saying. You use the you use the coins from in game. And that's exactly. Right. Right. It, it costs one smash dollar to get to get one character. It could and, be uh, like Street Fighter Five, but not terrible. You get you, you get two five, smash you get for every dollar. A pain in the ass. Okay, how about there's like there's like four loot boxes, right? There's no. Okay, how about there's three loot boxes? They cost like they they cost the same amount of coins each, but they give you a different character. Like like there's like a, a melee box, a brawl box, and a smash four box, and then a newcomer box. There you go. I just thought of a cool <laughs> idea. <laughs> what? You know the uh, crazy and master orders. In Smash Ooh, 4. Ooh, yeah. Why don't you do that? But instead of it being like three rewards, it's a character for a really, really hard task. Ooh, that'd be sick. And then if you complete the task, you get the character. Yeah, because I really like Master and Crazy Orders. Just like you're running like Master Prices Orders. Passes. It's just hard to get Master Order tickets. Crazy Order tickets. Well, I'm like, huh? is that coming back? <laughs> you just, you just I have like classic. 50 Crazy Order tickets because I never play it. <laughs> and never you. This is the one that gave away all the music and shit. Yeah. Man, I there's still like challenges a... I haven't beat, dude. That challenge. I, I hope they get rid of the CDs that disappear. Because if you miss that CD, oh. you're not getting the song. That's true. Freaking abolish CDs, right? Oh, every time I. Uh, well, I think I unlocked all the music already. Yeah, I unlocked all the music. But like, any time like... that happens, I tell everybody to stop moving just to collect the CD. Yeah, so you if you miss that CD, thing, you don't get that piece of music. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and they're always the hardest it's, it's missions it's in Master Orders and Crazy Orders. <coughs> Crossword is dead. Yeah. Garfield Crossword is dead. dead. Garfield, Garfield has a trap. Anyway, go! My name is Jake! Okay, so, uh, you guys want to talk about Jurassic Park first, or Ant-Man and the Wasp? Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp, I guess, because we can go through that, because none of us have seen it except you. Really, huh? I'm, I'm not gonna see it. It's not something I care for. Okay, then, you nerd. I bet you watched the freaking Emoji Movie. Yeah, I did. And I, I tried to watch it with my sister on Netflix to see how bad it was. it was. I couldn't get past the first five minutes of that movie. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good movie. Like, nothing on the levels of Spider-Man Homecoming or Infinity War. But like, this one focused a lot more on comedy than the others. It sounds like a bad thing, but no, it was like. I was just trying to do Infinity War. Infinity War was like that. Yeah, I really liked Ant Man and the Wasp. I think it's better than the first one. Anything would be better than the first one. So, yeah, guys. I think Ant died because his mic is muted. Oh wait, that's why Ant wanted to talk about it, because his name is Ant, man. Ah, ah there we go, it's Indoor Park Ant. That's a new Marvel film. Yeah, it's a new Marvel film. I only watched Guardians, oh, yeah, Spider-Man, first... and Iron I Man. I got bored halfway through the first Ant-Man, so I stopped watching. Yeah. <laughs> what about the ending has freaking Thomas the Train in it? Oh. That's the big climax, is they fight like Thomas the Train. <laughs> I like, that's unironic too. Yeah, it's really unironic too. Like he's just like there, and they fight him. They use him as like a like a set piece. That's amazing. Yeah. Also, I saw the ending of Ant Man, and uh, I don't know if you heard How that. How's this tie into Infinity War? I wonder. 
Oh, want me to say it or no? Sure. Okay, um... A little bit of a... Big finger snap, boys. Oh, who dies? Everyone except Ant-Man. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> no, because he goes into like some portal or something. And like, the portal's in a no, different uh, dimension. So when he snaps, his friends outside of the portal uh, disappear. Because he technically was right, he techni um, he His techni wife is dead. He technically wasn't uh, wasn't in Earth on Earth. So yeah. I've made a I've made a complete 180 on my thoughts on Ant Man. It's a 10 out of 10 movie. Thomas <laughs> the Tank and the, the the Tank Engine. <laughs> Did you look it up? It's at the end, dude. Yeah. It's at the big climax, dude. It's really funny. That's great. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, your, your purple boy Thanos, your your purple Fortnite boy, Thanos. It doesn't show him, but like his effects are there. Oh. So yeah, that's how the movie ends. I'm pretty sure everything in between is good. I'll probably say that when he gets back, if he gets back. If he's gone, this podcast is for naught. <laughs> just love when it zooms out and he just falls off the tracks. <laughs> uh, also the. Also, they're making a new, uh, freaking, <clears throat> uh, what's it called, Mission Impossible movie, because, like, everyone loves oh, those. I thought they already said there weren't going to be another one. Uh, Tom, uh, Tom, what was his name, Tom Cruise still needs his Scientology money, so, that's why he's doing that. <clears throat> it's called, uh, Didn't like, Mission Didn't they Impossible. just release another Mission Impossible? Yeah, like, two years ago, huh? No, I mean, like, just recently. Yeah, it's going to be called Mission Impossible Fallout. So. Yeah, they announced that a while ago. Yeah. It looks like it's not going to be a good movie. It looks like it's just trying to be a summer blockbuster, but it's not coming out in summer. Unless, yeah, no, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Uh, I don't like Mission Impossible movies, not even the first original one. And for some reason, um, you can still find Mission Impossible 2 gummies at your local 99 cent store. Metal Gear. Yes, Metal Gear. Also, uh, Illumination. I, mean, I don't the care about Mission Oh, oh, July that's another 27. thing. That's another thing. That's another thing. Uh, Illumination. Uh, how they're making the Mario what movie. We already mentioned that a few podcasts ago. Yeah, I know that, but there are more information in, in, the, in words because they interviewed Reggie and they asked him about it, and he said it's going to appeal to both uh, new fans and old fans of Mario. So obviously that means it's going to be full of 64 references and Mission Mario Brothers references. Pretty much, right? Guys, if, if they make a freaking dorkly joke, he's like, Oh, look, Mario, why are you punching that thing? My hand hurt. <laughs> I guarantee you that's going to be one of the know. jokes. Alright? We're, we're going to make a bingo uh, card a... for the Illumination Mario movie, and we're going to go see it. I have a bad feeling about it, though. Dude, it... It's a recipe for disaster, all right? Like nothing about that is. Redeemed. I mean, we thought. Granted, we were the ones who thought that the rats and clay would be good, and it, it had no reason to be bad. Yeah, it really had no reason to be bad. Okay, uh, everything's lined up to be a horrible movie. It's a video game movie. It's animated, and it's by Illumination. Like, you're, that movie's gonna flop. It's set up to yeah. flop. It's set up to flop. But you know, it's, it's also an illumination you know movie. movie I saw um, earlier this week that I thought was going to be awful. What? Uncle Drew. Uncle Drew? What is that one about? I, I saw that in March. Jack being an old dude. They took a bunch of famous basketball players and then made them old. And it's basically they all get together and uh, start a, a new basketball team while they're all like 80. So who's in it? And like... they. And, uh, spoilers, they win in the championship. You know what they need to make? They need to make a Like Mike 3. Come on, guys. Shaq basically, he almost died. That was a, that was a good part. <laughs> of course it's Shaq. <laughs> but I Just think he said something. What do you think? Oh, no, they sent a picture of, uh, Ben Eddie. I guess that means he's still alive. Quick problem, BRB. All right. Uh, so we're just gonna go on without him for a little bit. Uh, hopefully, he should be back unless yeah. he's not. There's we can uh, still carry you without him. He's like the weakest link of this podcast anyway. One you. of the main songs in the movie is uh, rapped by Kyrie Irving. I thought that was interesting. Kyrie Irving has a song. Is, yeah. Is he the basketball player? Yeah. Yeah, the basketball <laughs> player, the one that's like not. 
the one that's like the only good player on the entirety of the Celtics. Yeah, I'm not too into basketball or hip hop, but he's he's a pretty good, he's a pretty good, pretty good role I mean, I don't like um, NBA really, so I've always been a college basketball person. I want to watch basketball. Hmm. I know. I saw that on the marquee. I'm like, what is that? Uncle Drew and my and you know, then my mom was like, oh, let's go see Jurassic World. Like, okay. NBA is everyone in the NBA is old so to play basketball, and then there's old LeBron. <laughs> old LeBron. Hold on, I want to look at screenshots of these guys. It, it's it was. I thought it was gonna be awful because they have non actors acting. Besides Shaq, Shaq, Shaq can do anything. Yeah. But, <laughs> No, it was pretty good. It was, it, was, it, was, it was a comedy about old old basketball people. It looks like a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. It looks like a Tyler Perry movie. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the people in it were uh, are in Tyler Perry movies, I believe. Uh, uh, one girl is love interest slash enemies love interest slash old bigger. I'm pretty sure she's in Tyler Perry movies. Well. <laughs> Man, that seems interesting to watch now. Oh, Kyrie mm. Irving plays Uncle Drew. That makes that makes sense. Oh yeah, Kyrie Irving, Shaquille O'Neal, Nate Robinson, uh, Reggie Miller. Mm. No, Kobe? I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought he was not Kobe already oh, has a... Kobe already has an Emmy. What did I miss? Oh yeah, Co- Kobe won an Oscar. Forgot about that. Forgot yeah, what Kobe did I miss? won an Oscar. <laughs> he did. <laughs> oh, we're talking about um another movie that came out that uh, Fawful saw called Uncle Drew. You. <laughs> he said it, it was, was bad funny. <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> I, I, I went into it with a couple friends what? thinking it was gonna be awful, but it was it was pretty good. Uh, funny internet uh personality gets movie. What? <laughs> it's exactly what it is. You're just trying to cash in on the NBA. I don't like basketball. Yeah, still, that's exactly why that movie exists. I mean, yeah, but, but it, it was funny. I, I enjoyed it. It wasn't a good movie, but it was an enjoyable movie. That's the best way to describe it. Oh, so it was horrible. You laughed at how bad it was, okay. No. Jeez, you have a really big vendetta it's, it's against the same, this movie, it's huh? the same reason I liked uh, Ready Player One. It wasn't a good movie, but it was enjoyable. Exactly. Well, Ready right. Player One wasn't good either. <laughs> That's, I just said that. Exactly. Also, tune in next week as we uh, do a commentary over Ready Player One. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> no more first commentaries are they going to do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we should probably announce that. We're going to do commentaries <laughs> if there's nothing to talk about. So if there's like a slow oh, news man. week. Oh, we'll, we'll tell us more about this at the end of the cast. Yeah. <laughs> All the scores for yeah, no, are extremely low. So <laughs> Uncle Drew was actually a mediocre film, I knew it. No <laughs> movies based on internet culture is good. So anyway, can I, can I get back to that man on the boss? Oh yeah, go back to that. We, 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 we already talked about the ending. Cover. So you can go ahead and elaborate more on that. Because good film. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ruined the ever- ending for everyone, so we can go ahead and elaborate more on that. Oh, you talked about the ending? You piece yeah. of trash. Why? Alright. So, yeah, we are we gonna let this man hop? Well, anyway, uh... Uh, he's not getting an icon, man. though. Just tell him that. Sure. Ooh, whew. Oh, what are we talking about here? Uh, great. Uh. Yeah, so... He's a smash grade. Ad- so, man, I got the events of the last film with Captain America and whatnot, so... Ed man was like locked in his house for three days. He was under house arrest. Yeah. And he had some cute moments. Ant Man survived Thanos by staying in his house and having enough food and water to survive the apocalypse. (laughs) Okay, what was the after credits thing? That's what I'm curious about. That's all I care about. Didn't you say it? No, I just said the. uh, He's like only from Thanos. Not the end. He has to suck Thanos' toes. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's like, it's a really, it's a really funny movie. Uh, we, and I actually like the actresses, they're all, they're all well choreographed. 
I think these are one of the best fight scenes in any Marvel movie. Hmm. It's a tie between this and I'm going to say Captain America with the Soji. So yeah. But uh, if there are any complaints I would uh, say about the movie is that it doesn't look horrible, but sometimes the CGI can look a little goofy. It's not as jarring as like Black Panther. But like yeah, like some of the parts you can tell us CGI. I we'll do that here. Bad. We we don't film that. We don't talk about Black Panther here. I forgot that. <laughs> mm, so I saw guys. that movie like six times. I'm so tired of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ant Man and Wasp. Maybe it's alright. I saw the trailer of it when I when I saw Jurassic World. Boy. Uh, yeah, people are getting scared of it because all the uh, background details about it, but the act is being really really terrible. Yeah. Yeah, but please watch it. I mean, it's going to do a good good job anyway because it's an MCU movie and they never flop. But still, watch it, please. Yeah, I mean, it's the war, dark world. It never flop. Also, quick tangent. So, um, uh, okay, going on. <laughs> <laughs> so, next Marvel. is Captain Marvel. And then it's Avengers 4, I believe. Captain Marvel, alright. Uh, she's the reason why Chun Li's ugly. Wait, what? Oh, that's that's Captain Marvel. Terrible. She's the nice. reason. Uh, Captain Marvel's alright looking. Who, who's gonna play her? Oh, I I forgot him actually. Uh, let me see. Oh, oh, look it up right now. Yeah, like, uh, filming. No, Chun Li looks ugly in Marvel Infinite because they wanted the movie to look like they wanted the game to look like the MCU. What the? <laughs> It's being played by. They said I was looking it up. Yeah. Is it Brie Larson? Brie Larson, I believe. Yeah, Brie Larson. Brie Larson. What is she? Uh, what is she in? She looks familiar. Okay. Let's find out. When does Captain Marvel come out, Barton? Next year, summertime. She was in Scott Pilgrim vs. Uh-huh. the World. Uh-huh. Oh wait, yeah, she was Kim from. No, no, she was Envy from Scott Pilgrim. Uh-huh. Oh, she's the one that kept getting assisted. Uh, 21 Jump Street, The Train Wreck, Last Castle, <laughs> The Gambler. No, 21 Jump Street is a good movie. Wait, that means Ooh. like. That means two people from Scott Pilgrim on the MC <laughs> Yeah, so we don't yeah, have to worry. <laughs> I can't <laughs> wait for the King Kong uh, the Avengers crossover. Is can we get Michael Spin the MCU next? Cousins <laughs> <laughs> and Brie Larson. Both and plus she's them. extra thick. Cause she's probably gonna come. <laughs> so yeah, Michael Sarah can be um Michael Sarah can be Big Will. In Spider Man. There you go. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, that's all we have to say about Ant Man and the Wasp. So uh, our pieces for the move for everyone while you were gone also. Oh, you clicked the wrong thing. Oh, there you are. So what did we talk about so far? Oh, did we we already talked about Bayonetta. Uh Jurassic World. I saw that movie. Uh it was actually Chris Brad good. being serious does not work, in my opinion. Uh there was pretty cool scenes. There was like a scene where they uh or they had to like get uh, T Rex blood. It's kinda kinda cool. Uh they they created they created a dinosaur <laughs> <laughs> they created a dinosaur that looked really cool to only to kill it in thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're pretty much setting up a whole new cinematic universe. Hmm. So yeah. yeah. Wait, um, a Jurassic Park cinematic universe. So was it basically just a filler movie? E- yeah, it's basically saying it's basically they blew up the island from the first movie. They're like, okay, get rid of that crap, get that out of here. Let's get all these dinosaurs to America and let them free. So now, uh, dinosaurs are part of <laughs> now, our, now dinosaurs are part of our ecosystem now. So yeah. What, they literally let the dinosaurs into the ecosystem? Do they not realize that that's from fun? Yep. Is- Jurassic Park Cinematic Universe. Hmm? They could just, like, blown up the eyes and put the dinosaurs on it. We have to establish after four movies that the dinosaurs on Earth is a bad idea. I mean- Jurassic World was my favorite Jurassic movie, but still the original boy, still the original boy. I don't know. I feel like it's just kind of 
the, the original is just kind of... Uh, I don't know. Why, why I said you not to the cops? About, I'm just not Spread, no of. expense. I'm kidding. Uh, I like Michael Keaton, that's why he's like the best. Jeff Goldblum's God tier. I'll show you. <laughs> what? I'll show you. Because <laughs> uh, I like Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> I, I streamed Lego Jurassic Park earlier today. <laughs> Alan! Alan Street. Yeah. Man, alright. <laughs> so, yeah, it was an okay movie, enjoyable time. Still, uh, still wanted to see Incredibles. Is there anything you would change? Because I had a lot of negative things about that movie. I heard nothing but negative about that movie. I would, um... I, I would I would set up that new dinosaur a little bit more. Just, like, a little bit more. Set him up. Um... I wouldn't have d destroyed the island. The first movie, because it's basically saying, Screw your childhood. We in America now, boys. Um... Um... I, I would have liked a little more character to form if a nerdy guy it was pretty funny they could have they could have um they could have like combined the nerdy guy and the doctor together to make a better character that's just me i like how you call him the nerdy guy yeah, i don't remember his name i don't remember his name <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I know claire and owen but i don't remember nerdy guy uh, that's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> he was still pretty enjoyable though. They, they should like give him more development. Uh, if they combined him and the doctor together, uh, it would have made a better character. Uh, so yeah, it, it was all right. Still yeah, trying to go see Incredibles. Yeah, but you have to watch that as a first time. Yeah. <laughs> go watch Incredibles. <laughs> I want that twenty dollar PSN card, man. It's only ten dollars. Oh yeah, right. I still want it. <laughs> Nerd. Man, what am I gonna buy with that, hmm? Let's see. Um... Can you show this like a Kingdom Hearts, uh, PSN? Nah. Screen screen I already got all of those, thank you. <laughs> no, because... Because nice. freaking Kingdom Hearts cares about you. If you buy the game, if you and if you beat the games on the collection, they give you a free theme. So, yeah. Well, there's only like two games with collecting the versus just cutscenes. Yeah, and they still give you a theme for watching the cutscenes too. I kind of want to see Tag, just because Hannibal Burris is in it. <laughs> 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 and I love Hannibal Burris. <laughs> he was like barely in Homecoming. I hope he didn't get poofed in the cinematic universe. <laughs> he was in Homecoming? <laughs> yeah, he was in Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, he was. <laughs> you know that, what? You know, that, you know that scene where, um... No, no, uh, yeah, it's like there's like a big assembly, and they're watching a they're watching a pre-recorded Captain America tape. He's like, uh, listen to what a Captain America says. This guy's probably a war. This probably guy. This guy's probably a war criminal by now, but we still have to listen to him. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, and like later on, when uh, like Peter gets detention, and it does that one meme. He's like, so you got detention. It, he, he's just um, he's like just like chaperoning the kids in the detention. And like when Peter gets up and leaves, he's like, "Hey, no, get back here." He's still sitting down. <laughs> like that's his only lines in the yeah, movie, but he's still, still funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I saw him, dude, I'm like, "No way, he's in this." But so, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I kind of want to see Tag, but I'm a 16-year-old boy. <laughs> Well, I'm not allowed to go to those bad movies. So is it basically Jet, uh, jet Set Radio, the movie? There he is, I see him. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah that's that girl from good. Disney Channel. Homecoming is really good. We, we need another Spider-Man movie. But it looks I like that's not gonna happen. I heard the next one is gonna be called Spider-Man: Far From Home. Oh yeah, yeah. He, uh, what's it? He, uh, freaking the the the, uh, the the actor guy leaked the script. Yeah, yeah no, he did that on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> they actually hired him to do that now. That's funny. 
Yeah, I need to see Homecoming. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah. I, I want the new. Uh, I, want the, I want the new. <laughs> the new Spider Man. It's just gonna, it's just gonna open up his ashes on the ground, and he's gonna blow the ashes far away from home. <laughs> and the rest of just like all of his friends. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh man, his friends are gonna be, probably be dead. That that kid from the first one's like really funny. That's a Go go go, right. go, go, go watch let's Homecoming. Let's see right if now. I can. Uh, let's see if I can get tickets on 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 Tuesday. To tag. That's cheap movie day. That's cheap movie day. Yeah, five dollar tickets, man. Oh, uh, there's this like cheap movie place where it's like eight dollars a ticket to get in, and um, but like nine a.m. <laughs> no. Okay, I don't want to be like racist or anything, but I'm Mexican. But like the Mexicans figured out about it, so like they bring all their noisy kids with them. So like, <laughs> God. yeah. And Wait, they- eight dollars is cheap movie day for you? Hmm? No, it's Wait. a cheap movie place. It's always eight dollars no matter what. Oh, that's not. I don't know, man. Even the well, we don't have too. a cheap movie place. I don't know. The school is a cheap movie place. Yeah. They've got like a mansion here. It's in a college town for college kids. About <laughs> they also don't a ticket. Well, or a dollar. They also don't check IDs for anything, and they don't check tickets at the at the doors of each theater. So like, so I, I just want to be a six year old can go up there and see Logan. Well, not like that. We know like a teenager no. can go up and see Logan. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> granted, I don't think any movie. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, I, I once. The like, only time I I'd be able more. to go see Tag is uh, at 9 a.m. Wow. So what are the current movies you guys are excited for? Now we're good day. Hold on, I'm gonna go back to that theater. Hold on. Um, th- this might not be like Very the most quality, the most quality thing I've done, but like um, I once paid the eight dollars to go see Cars 2, and there after that, I, I theater hopped into Green uh, to Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> you saw two bad movies in a row. Good job. Yeah. It's amazing. Green I mean, Lantern I sucked, always wondered, dude. I would like, would a movie place stop you if you went to go see, if you already paid a ticket because they only have like the one at the door. And not, are they re- really just going to go stop you from going to see another movie while you're out there? Uh, sometimes they do. I, I tried to do it once at a, like a legit theater, but they're like, uh, let me see your ticket at the door thingy. I'm like, oh, I forgot it. And over here, I accidentally threw it in I mean, the trash. I, like, you better I mean, I guess because the like, theater okay. I go to. Um, it's about an hour away. They don't have people at the doors. They have tickets. Uh, yeah, they don't have that. people at the doors either at the one I go to. You can literally just walk into though. any movie. It might just be because it's a cob. Yeah. I never did that. Probably never would. Also, they, ser- they serve booze like at my at the theater I went to, so it's probably that too. They did it at my theater. Really? Huh. Mm-hmm. They, they don't serve booze at my Look, theater. Look, I'm in Alabama. They don't serve beer anywhere. I look like those expensive food. <laughs> Alright, surprisingly enough, they don't I don't know who wants to get drunk while watching a movie, but. Exactly. <laughs> the Burger King a lot of people. The hamburgers now, so that's the thing. J.K. Rowling will never be, is refusing to let the Harry Potter series die. Dude, she has enough money to freaking live forever, dude. Book sales and movie sales alone, dude, alright? Buy the movie just on Dumbledore. No. I don't want that. They're gonna probably force gay propaganda in that, because he's, like, gay now for some reason. Well, J.K. Rowling realized she has a lot of money. She can do whatever she wants. And she's liberal garbage. So she can run her own franchise now. The only good Harry Need Potter movie new is new Harry Potter 1. I can literally watch that movie and be okay with the entire franchise. All the Harry Potter movies are good except for the two new ones. <laughs> except for Half-Blood Prince. Don't watch that one. Oh, yeah, that one. We need a... We need a new Babadook movie about him. About him being gay. Dude, we need Bye Bye Man too, dude. Can we please? No, they made like a Secret of Life Wizards or something, whatever movie it was called. That came out like 2016. Can they just leave the Harry Potter series alone? Please? It was good how it was. Don't change anything to the canon, please, JK. The people already hate you already. Hey guys, how about we just remake Dumbo with Tim Burton? Oh, wait. Is Tim Burton. The new Dumbo movie is? Yeah, it's made by Tim Burton. I mean, it'll be Tim respectable for sure. Fact. Is it Danny DeVito in it? Yeah, he's in. Oh, go ahead, Fuffle. The people who directed uh, Get Out, one of the best movies of the past year, uh, is directing the new Unfriended. (laughs) Wow. Get Out? Get Out is just YouTube theory, babe. Screw Get Out. (laughs) 
I, I'm pretty sure he he also, uh, and BET award bait I'm pretty sure that's also the same director of Uncle Drew. Oh well. no, no wonder why it was terrible. Oh well, you haven't seen the movie. They, they made they made get out references in that movie. Or maybe it was the same lead actor, I'm not certain. <laughs> I just like that gif where he's crying. And that gif <laughs> okay, that gif where that, that gif where one of the workers like runs up and screams get out. <laughs> Yeah, that, that Jordan Peele. That's his name. Jordan uh, let's, go to his, let's go to his Wikipedia. From uh, Keen Peele, right? Um, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Keegan Michael Key. <laughs> yeah, Keen Peele. Okay. What he the? directed Get Out. Apparently. Yeah. Um. Uncle Drew sucks. Okay, you don't, you don't gotta be so rude. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it's just a game. Wrong on Uncle Drew being a good Do not have to be that. It's just a game. <laughs> I never said He's that it was a game. Why are you half mad? <laughs> um... Well, uh... Do you guys have anything else to say, or are we just going to talk, to fully co- talk about fully cooling and dancing? Uh, you guys go on by yourself, because I've never seen a single episode of that show. I've seen Evangelion, though. Oh, yeah. Jake Paul's going to be in the new Unfriended. Why not? I forgot Doesn't about that. Isn't his better Sh- have, like, a documentary? Shane, I know Shane Dawson was in the first one, I think. Isn't his better have a documentary? Yeah. He, he's doing a documentary of how, to, how he had a bad year. Or something like that. At least Shane Dawson makes okay content. Oh yeah, he does. I, I like his new content more than his old crappy content. <coughs> true, 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 true. Shane Dawson likes Contra. Does he really? Yeah, here. From the Bloomhouse producer of Get Out. Okay, it's it's the it's the producer of Get Out, The Purge, and Happy Death Day. Oh, Happy Death Day sucked. So does the, the, so does the purge. The purge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little kid in the purge really bothered the heck out of me. Was he like autistic or something? No, he's just in the street, the holiday spirit. No, that little kid from the first purge or something. The one who's wearing the mask. Yeah, he's in the holiday spirit. No, no, he's 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 inside the house. He's the one that lets that first person in. All right, it's Jason Blum. Jason Blum. Uh, it's all his fault. He's he's the guy that's making all these bad movies and good movies apparently. The Conjuring was fine. I don't know nothing Get about out. Conjuring. Blitz. I haven't watched any of this guy's movies, so I have no idea what you are talking about. But he he also made uh, great movies such as Truth or Dare and The Purge. And <laughs> I don't know if you like The Purge or. The Ghetto Kid School. The Purge is bad. It oh, is. Oh, I forgot what movie it was, but it was really crappy too. Uh, it's like something like Three Wishes or something like that, where like this girl she finds like a box that grants her like a, three wishes, I think, or something like that. But like every wish kills someone. So like, <laughs> but if, if you finish all three wishes, you die. Right. So she uses all three wishes, and they try to play her death at the end as a surprise. Like, I guess, like, when she's younger, her mom killed herself, so she wishes to have her mom back, but, like, at the loss of her dad, and, like, s- something like that. It's retarded. <laughs> they made a second, uh, they made a second Ouija. Ouija. The Ouija, Ouija board movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they made a second one. Isn't that the name of my shitty YouTuber? Yeah, you're right. Got him. Okay. Th- so, uh, yeah, let's talk about Fooly Cooly, but you guys don't watch good anime unless it's JoJo. Alright, peace out, boys. I'm so lit. <laughs> I mean, I don't know nothing about Fooly Cooly. In the oh, you don't need to know. It's just a story about growing up with robots and stupid booby people. My friend wants me to watch it. Please, like... watch it. Actually, watch something good for once. <laughs> hey, I saw, um... I saw, I saw Infinity Ward. Is that, is that not enough? Yeah, but that came out months ago. 
<laughs> You're right. It doesn't count if it came out uh, over over a month ago. Yeah, the Thanos isn't a fully goodie. But give Nintendo. Yeah. So uh anyway. Everybody is a completely new character except for uh Natsumi. And there's like this emo lady named Hidomi. Basically she's depressed, she doesn't have a father anymore. Her mother works at a cafe, and she's pretty much bored and does nothing but look at internet videos. Until she gets cracked with a guitar by a random lady one day. And apparently she has robots brought it out of her forehead, and that's all you need to know. It's just stupid nonsense from now and then. Some people give a criticism for not... You see the first Fooly Fooly like experimented with a bunch of art styles, but... So did Fooly Fooly Progressive, but not as much. And some people are talking about because of it. But I don't, I don't agree with that. And also, uh, people are calling it nostalgia bait, which is also not true because that show has a completely different plot. While Tycoon was just a jerk, Hidomi is actually wondering what she can do with her life. <coughs> and everybody's mute. <laughs> Am I alone? Oh, yeah, and you're alone. Yeah, oh, you're no. Alone. Oh, no. No one's watched Trolly really Cooly. You're on your own, man. You guys yeah, are no time. You guys are liberals. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Although I know how to put the chat back together. Uh, Nintendo. Smash Bros. Yeah. Smash Bros. <laughs> So you know, you know who should be in Smash Brothers, guys? Uh, freaking, uh, put, uh, Wobba Fett in, dude. Uh, you guys wanna listen, huh? Screw you guys. <laughs> no, I told you, I didn't wanna make bad jokes when you talk about Fully Cooley. I wouldn't make, like, depression jokes and stuff. <laughs> Everything you said. Can we talk, can we talk about the, the Queen movie? And how it's either gonna be god-awful? Yes, Queen. Oh, that would be amazing. No, what Queen movie are you talking about? Oh, 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 yeah, Queen, Queen, Queen. Queen. The uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, I think yeah, it's yeah, called. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the biopic. They've been working on this biopic for a while. Yeah. I'm really hoping it's about, uh, what, what, what Freddie Mercury was actually like. <laughs> it better do that, it better, it better have a Darth Vader scene. Uh, <laughs> I, I, there better be a scene about him, uh, snorting cocaine with midgets. Be oh yeah, right <laughs> didn't he have like midgets walk around with like cocaine on their heads? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, there better be like at least like at least five like <laughs> hardcore gay sex scenes. Also, also, it's not a true biopic. Tommy Wiseau style, right, right, right in the belly button. Pretty much, dude. Pretty much. Cause like that's like a, a big factor in him dying, dude. Like you can't like, not show how he dies. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. You're laughing, but like the whole movie, the full movie is one hour of him, <laughs> and then the rest of the movie is him in a hospital dying. Pretty much. Uh, is he supposed to die halfway through the movie? Per the request of Freddie Barrett, um, Brian Nah, May. nah they abolished that because they, <laughs> freaking, they abolished that. They th that movie would not make money if he dies halfway through. Ooh, I can I kind of want to see uh, Christopher War uh, Christopher Robin. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Christopher, Christopher Robin, Robin, but it's just Christopher Robin's in World War Two at this point, and one well, his son went off, he got drafted, and he dies in Dunkirk, and it's like, oh bother, Christopher Robin's sad. We've got to teach him <laughs> to be happy. And Christopher Robin just sitting there like, my fucking son is dead, and, and Clue's just trying to cheer him up, and it's not working at the end. Christopher Robinson kills himself. My fucking parents I'm died, Pooh Bear. <laughs> you can't bring them back, Pooh Bear. You know how he kills himself? Oh no. <laughs> he ties Tigger's... <laughs> he ties Tigger's <laughs> tail around his neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, please let that be the, the official canon ending. <laughs> yeah, so that movie's gonna hopefully be good. Prove it, Noid. 
For what? You don't have the guts. So yeah, guys. Um, Sonic announced that he's doing something at San Diego Comic Con. We well, yeah, actually completely forgot about that. That's like two weeks from us. We're gonna get the first turtle of the movie. And it's gonna be. Best don't expect anything is. big. They already announced the two big projects already. Yeah, Unless cool. they talk about the movie, and even then, I highly doubt it. What are the two big projects? Sonic Mania Team Plus. Sonic Racing and Sonic Mania Plus and Mania Adventures. Oh, what I forgot about Mania Plus. Mania Plus. They'll probably air the. They'll probably the air the. They'll probably air the final. Um, the final Mania Adventures at the at there. I can see that happening. My parents are freaking out over a mosquito. Wow. Hold on a second. Oh wait, oh, wait, 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 speaking about conventions, AX happened, and uh, a popular... Oh, no, um, we're gonna talk about Momoka. A, a popular um, roaster of uh, <laughs> of low-tier god uh, got herself in some trouble. <laughs> a roasty, sorry, of low-tier <laughs> god got, got herself in some trouble. <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> a low-tier god called the orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what happened? Okay, okay. Uh, Low tier god um, roasted this like uh, she was just, like a plus size uh, cosplay lady. She's like a moose booby lady. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he he, he like oh. <laughs> he roasted the heck out of her. That's the only thing I agree with with freaking low tier god. Every, everything everything else about him is trash except that. But um, <laughs> her <laughs> she she got in trouble. For uh, molesting and like sexually assaulting a bunch of other fellow um, fellow cosplayers. Wait, I'm Not probably sure. reading something different, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm seeing something about him insulting a handicapped girl. Oh yeah, he's probably done that like, many I times in the past. The same thing with Broly legs. Yeah, and he he's not a good guy at all, except when he rose in a moment. Yeah, Lotte got is freaking terrible. Yeah, at least he's funny. <laughs> Look at that video where he loses to Broly legs, dude. He's like, <laughs> he's like this yeah, yeah. video. Extremely disrespectful. Yeah. Man, Sonic Mania Plus Wait, comes out in nine the days. What was this happened at? What happened? What was the convention that this happened at? Uh, Anime Expo. It's happened at many different conventions, but it didn't take till this time to uh, cause the whole controversy. So like apparently she would like pull down her fellow cosplayers tops in public uh like grope them without um without like any like any request not request permission like basically like that like you can you can say oh it's just a female and they can do that to other females like no no, no double standards here boys but yeah no, no like didn't like no that was bunny and yumi right didn't you say she asked for permission? Some people did. A some people did ask for permission, and some people didn't. A lot of people didn't. Apparently, that's what started this whole thing. Man, we are losing. Oh, there's, yeah. there's, there's more yeah. examples, but that's the, the few that I know. See, here's the thing, though. This uh, this plus size cosplayer, no, no one likes her. She's she's also a terrible person. <laughs> She that also steals it. costumes from people. Oh yeah, yeah. She steals yeah. costumes and like blocks the people she stole it from. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's a horrible person. Um, in in a Discord server I'm in, uh, there's a channel dedicated to just hating on her before all this came out that she was a terrible person. Wow, that channel must be blowing up now. <laughs> <laughs> Man. It just proves that you don't gotta be a male to sexually assault someone. Yeah. But I thought that was impossible. That's This is 2018. All the females exactly. are right. I also can't be racist either. Heckin' white people, right, guys? Hey, go go you see, we were joking and then you just went too far. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's the same concept, honestly. Like, no one's safe. Like, you can still be a horrible person, no matter what. No one is safe from the son of a shepherd. The social justice warriors will rise against the oppression. And the patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's like, I got like a dry cough and it's horrible. Like, I can understand like a wet cough, but a dry cough's like the worst. With the glass being broken, all the oppressed groups shall prosper. Especially the most oppressed group of all. Gamers. 
Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this is the first podcast of Gamer Month. This is this is Gamer Month, guys. We're actually pushing that, right? This is the month of is gamers. Is that an actual thing? I'm pushing it, dude. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to push it up to the Senate, dude. I'm trying to get my rights. That's something that you're starting. No, a lot of people online are starting it. I'm just helping endorsing it. All right, so uh, hashtag. This is why old people want to take us seriously, guys. Homosexuals got their own month. Uh, everyone's got their own month. Hispanics, Africans. I'm pretty sure Asians do too. It's time for time for the real oppressed group, guys. Gamers, rise up. Sarcastic people, man. Rise up, gamers. I'm cutting this part out. Honestly, I agree with you. Like seriously. I think we kind of covered everything. Uh, between you and me, uh, I think me, uh, us, and the gay should switch because uh, Gamer Month should happen the same month as E3. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Just, uh, that would out make there. more sense. It, it would make more sense, right? So, uh, but like, we're, we're Gay Pride Month the, is also awesome. like <laughs> we're, we're meeting up with the top gay experts to uh, have that planned. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep you posted on any uh, new uh, <laughs> any new updates to uh, <laughs> the homosexuality. <laughs> I like really? how everyone I know that is gay just hates Pride Month. <laughs> Guys, I really hope like you know you. I'm joking. I'm not really trying to push for Gamer Month. That's the crappiest meme this month. No, dude, I, I believed you 100%. <laughs> I'm not that sad, right? Gamers. <laughs> Gamers. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there you go. Um, that's happening. Um... Mokun's a bad person. Low tier God's a bad, worse person. I um, like Momo Cuckoo, am I right, gamers? Yeah, got him. <laughs> <laughs> keep it, keep it online with Low Tier God. I was watching more videos of him, and apparently, like, he yelled at his girlfriend because he kept losing a sheet fighter. Yeah, he did. That was true. <laughs> that, that was, that was actually, actual thing. Yeah, and he broke. She broke up with him. <laughs> yeah, it's great, dude. I wonder why. Yeah, dude, I really want to it. Like, why would you break up with such a nice man? Right? <laughs> Women, right? Just joking. <laughs> nah, he, he was like a really, like, douche tool, dude. Oh, uh, <laughs> I remember when he was going against a Rashid player and he kept losing. Yeah. And he called Rashid a lot and a lot of people will fire him racist. <laughs> And he got his channel demonetized for like a month. No, the best one is when he was at that one thing, <laughs> and that one guy I, I don't I don't remember his name, but he called him he called him like a b word. He called him out and told it to his face. <laughs> and Lotia Kod didn't do nothing. He just tried to like stare him down. But <laughs> that little dude, he still kept staring back too. But Lotia died. God, did, God didn't do nothing, dude. Like he's all talk, dude. It's funny. I, I need to find <laughs> that video too. Should we end the podcast here? <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. Um, Street Fighter music. I mean, uh, Marvel music. Hey, that's not the way I was talking. Um, I want to thank the Academy. Um, I want to, I want to, I want, I want to thank, um, I want to thank God. I want to thank Jesus. Um, I want to thank my man. Shout out to Simple Flips. Um, <laughs> what did you keep saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to thank, uh, imagine I want someone to thank doing Momoku for being a terrible person. Uh, thank Lo to your God for giving me uh, hours of entertainment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> imagine like accepting like a really prestigious award, and then when you walk off stage, you're just like, shout out to Simple Flips. Like literally, no one knows who that is except you. <laughs> <laughs> imagine like uh let's see who's like an actor imagine like chris pratt gets like a, an oscar or something and he's like walking up stage he says shout out to simple whips and backwards long jumps off the stage <laughs> <laughs> all right um i'm running low on material guys um so uh what's the deal with airline food <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, i don't got nothing you know and the podcast now all right, uh, in the park. Four, four, four. No, I, th I think I think it's good how it's going. You want to keep going? Yeah. No, I think uh, I think what we're doing now, uh, this air this airline food joke is pretty good. Okay. Uh, like you know, they they, they come up to you and they're like, uh, beef or chicken, you know? And you're like, you want to punch right, that chick out? All right, now you've taken it too far. Just end the podcast. <laughs> you want to punch that chick out, but your friend's like, uh, beef. <laughs> you know.
Like, if I hey, why do they put a the freaking book in a kitchen bill, huh? What's <laughs> upon a time there were a bunch of hungry people. So what do you guys think of the podcast? Do you think the frog girl is the best girl or what? <laughs> well, Bye, this guys. is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I see you guys next time. Dude, you, uh, are you DJ Slope's Slope's Game Room? <laughs> Yo, honestly, man, big fan. I like your uh, Kickstarter series. I- I've been a nostalgia critic. I remembered it, so you didn't have to. Yeah, hey, that's not how it goes. I'm doing a fact. <laughs> he should end every video with uh, "I'm a trash human being. Give your money to charity." Um, <laughs> we we took your money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, end it now. Uh, bye, guys. <laughs> 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 <laughs>